welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Eileen, and this is Eileen Ashley is Red Hot and Flashy. So, because it is now officially fall, <laughs> I'm a summer, summer girl, I love summer, but since it's officially fall, I figured I would do a fall eye look for you guys today. Not only that, I'm doing it in collaboration with somebody. Her name is Nicole Renee. And I will put her information in the description below so that you can check out her YouTube channel. Not only does she do makeup, she also does wigs. It's really cool. So not only am I going to do a fall look, but so is Nicole. And when you're done watching my video, go check Nicole's video out too to see what she came up with for her fall look. Also, check out some of her other videos too. Let's get started. So today I'm gonna to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. But before I begin, I'm going to pry my eyes. I'm gonna go in with the NARS Paint Pot. In case you didn't notice, I've already done my base makeup. <laughs> So this way we can focus on uh, today's fall look. All right, let me show you what the palette looks like. Those are the colors. Just in case you don't have this palette, you can use whatever you have. This palette came with a brush, a dual-ended brush, and it, it's actually really pretty good. So I'm gonna use it today. But I'm gonna start out with the fluffy end, and I like to set my eyes. So I'm gonna go in with the uh, Tempera which is this whitish color or beige color. Then I'm gonna go uh, in the crease with the uh, burnt orange, which is right here. And I'm just gonna put that in as a transition color and I'm using the fluffy end of the brush. Next, I'm gonna go in with uh, Venetian red, which is that darker red right there. And I'm just gonna place that in the corner of my eye. And for now, I'm gonna use the stiffer end of the brush. And I know it's a crease uh, brush, but I just wanna pack on the uh, color. So I'm just gonna use that. Now I'm gonna take that fluffy brush and start blending it out. I'm gonna keep building up the color. I don't know if you could see how much it really uh, blended away. I want it to be nice and dark. I'm gonna add a little bit of this love letter. I wanna see just what it looks like. Hmm, I like that. It, it, it made it a little more purple. I'm gonna take uh, the fluffy end and I'm gonna clean it off on my switch, my color switch. And then I'm gonna start bringing a little bit into the crease, maybe about halfway like that. I'm gonna try something on the other eye. I'm gonna try going in first with Love Letter. Just in the corner. I just wanna see um, if it's a little redder almost. It basically looks the same. So I'm gonna go in with the Venetian red on top of it. And do exactly like we did on the other eye. I like that. And uh, again, cleaning off the brush. Iggy wipe, wipe it on a towel. Bring it in a little bit, like halfway. I don't want it all the way in. I'm gonna then just take a clean brush and start blending these uh, edges. I wanna cut my crease. Let me see, actually no. You know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna take a flat brush. I think this will work without having to cut the crease. I'm gonna take a nice flat brush and it's kind of rounded so that you can get in there. And I'm gonna go back in with temper tempera which is the color we started with right here. And I'm just gonna put it on my lid, almost like you're cutting your crease. And don't worry, if you, uh, like I just did, I got it on the other colors, 
we're gonna blend that again. I'm just gonna go in with the same brush I was using with a tiny bit of the Venetian red, like literally just a tap. And I'm gonna blend the two colors together. All right, oh, I'm really loving the way this is coming out. So next we're gonna go in with a shimmer and I'm gonna go in with Primavera right there. It's kind of like a goldish color. And I'm gonna try it first with the bright brush. You know, guys, uh, that I like to use my finger, but let's try it with the brush first. Yeah, I know I could wet the brush and do all that, but it's just so much simpler to use my fingers. See the difference? It's nice and bright. I'm gonna go ahead and do it the same way on the other eye, just so that I get the same type of effect. And now I'm going in with my fingers. See how it comes out. I think my fingernails are getting way too long to do this anymore with my fingers. Yeah, just, can you see the difference? It's a big difference, I think, anyway. I'm gonna go back in with the brush from the palette and I'm nothing on the no product on the brush and I'm just gonna sweep it across where those colors are meeting just to blend it together nicely I'm gonna take that same brush I like this on here and I'm gonna dip it into the Venetian red right there I'm just gonna dip in the uh, the top of it like that because I want to take and basically kind of outline and let me show um, I want to show you up close but then I can't see I want to I basically want to outline like right there and I'll show you so I'm just gonna tap it kind of just like that I don't know if you can see the difference but it does make a little bit of a difference now I'm gonna go in with that love letter just to make it the same color. With the pencil brush, I'm gonna take the Venetian red underneath. And to darken it up a little bit, I'm gonna use this Cypress Umber. It's a brown. I wanna darken up the under eye a little bit. So I'm just gonna go right over it lightly. See how it darkened it up? With a small fluffy brush like this, I'm gonna take that love letter, the other color we used, and I'm gonna blend out the bottom. Now I'm gonna go and tight line my waterline with a brown uh, pencil, and this is from ColourPop. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna kind of run it across my eyelashes too, to give it more like um, an eyeliner effect. All right, and you guys know that I always do my upper waterline with Urban Decay's 24-7 uh, waterline eye pencil in shade Legend, which is black. And for the corners, the inner corners of my eye, I'm going to use the Jeffree Star 24 Karat Skin Frost Pro Palette. Let me see what I want to use, though. I think I want to try this Legendary because I don't think... I don't think it's that dark. Hold on, let's check it out. It's given like an orangey, and I'm bringing it in the inner corner and on the bottom lash. Kind of gave it like an orangey hue. I don't know if you could see that on camera. Yeah, you could see it. There you go. I'm just gonna dip into the love letter and the Venetian red, just a little quick dip. And I'm just gonna go in there and kind of rub it together, not rub it together, blend it out a little bit because I, I went up too high with that. Uh, same on the other side, might as well make it match. Oh, I'm really loving the way this came out. All right, the last thing is mascara and maybe lashes. We're gonna try. Oh no, I'm definitely gonna put on lashes today. Be right back. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I put on some mascara and some lashes and now we're gonna do a lip. And I'm thinking of doing something dark 
which I don't normally do. So um, let's check it out. I'm gonna try this. I have not used it before. It's from MAC. It's their matte lipstick and it's called Russian Red. And it's a dark, deep red. I think I'm gonna outline my line, my lips, I mean, with a dark, deep brown. And this is Jeffree Star's, um, what is the color? I think it's mannequin, but I need glasses. Oh, <laughs> it's called Dominatrix. It wasn't even close. <laughs> All right, I'm going to I'm going to do uh outline my lips with that and let's let's see how it comes out. All right, so I overlined my lips a little bit. And I'm going to fill in the corners with this and hopefully hopefully make kind of like an ombre look. Let's try out this lipstick. I'm just going to put it where I did not line the lips. I went a little further than where I lined the lips because it looks a little funny to me. And then rub them together. Oh, it looks nice actually. All right, and then I'm gonna go back in with Dominatrix because I saw, I lost a little of the liner there. And I'm just gonna reline that. I'm really liking that. Okay, that's it for today's um, fall look. What do you guys think? I'm really liking this. Um, and it's so different than what I normally would wear, especially the lip, and, and I really like it. So thank you so much to Nicole for reaching out to me and asking me to do this collab. And for you guys, don't forget to check Nicole out. Her YouTube channel will be in my description and go see what she came up with uh, for her fall look. It should be interesting. I can't wait to see it. Also, give the rest of her channel a look and uh, subscribe. If you like today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button below. Come and join our family. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Happy fall, everybody. Until next time, bye.